another nice day. Finally. And a good Sunday morning. Pipe smokers out on the water, as you can see. This fine, nice, finally, Memorial Day weekend. Like a broken record. Nobody around. Whole place to myself. And I am not complaining. Got some funny stories for you. It's hard to see this camera. I forgot my tripod today. But uh, we went out yesterday as well. Me and the wife and the dog. And we had some funny stories. One really fast was the wife hardly ever operates the boat. And me and Dunhill were standing in front of the boat. And she decides to put it in reverse to get us off the bank because I was fishing there and it was we were getting close. She guns it in reverse and about flips me and Dunhill both out of the boat. That was funny. Uh, another one, we had a severe pop-up storm blow through really fast. And, I mean, high wind, hail, the whole nine yards really fast. And everybody was trying to rush back to the docks. And on the way back, needless to say, I have my poles sitting on the back of the boat. I have a lounger back there. I don't know if you can see it back there or not, like women lay up on them like lounger beds. I had them sitting up there, brand new pole, whoop, right overboard. Lost that, brand new, rod and reel combo. Then uh, I did catch a nice fish for this area. I mean, you know, like down south where the warmer waters, you know, they get bigger down there. Up here, you know, they're small average, all about the same size, but I caught, I didn't measure it because the storms were coming and we wanted to get out fast. But judging by the length, if you know how tall I am, I'm six foot six. So when I was holding the fish up, you know, about almost shoulder high, that sucker, the tail was coming down to my waist. So that gives you an idea how big it was. It had to been at least 20 inches. Nice small mouth. I caught some others that we didn't record, nothing worth recording, but... Uh, we had fun. I'm out today by myself. I left the dog at home as well. The wife's working. Uh, I'm gonna pop another one today. We'll do a live, well not live, but we're gonna do a, I thought this one would be nice. Cornell and Deal bridge mixture. A sophisticated crossover blend of bright and red Virginia spiced with Turkish Latakia, Perique, Cavendish, and a touch of dark fire Kentucky. And the reason I picked this one was the rest of the description to help you over troubled waters <laughs> well yesterday would have been good for troubled waters but uh we'll go ahead and crack this and see what we got let me get it open and i'll give my thoughts we might be able to do it this way i got it leaning on my table first crack of the season out on the water with many more to come Oh, only one puck. It smells interesting. Let me get my pipe packed really fast. No drying time. And I got a barge coming down the river. He's probably watching me on a on his binoculars, thinking I'm some kind of idiot, talking to myself, smoking a pipe. And I made a mess. I doubt you can see him coming, but uh, they're a ways off. It takes them forever to get up and down the river. No drying time right out of the tin. It is fairly dry, though. It 
gonna be 80, gonna be 85 today. And I just heard somebody screaming. I was like, what the hell was that? Well, somebody's down there over the riverbank fishing. I'll definitely have to report back on this one later. This guy's barges way here. He said he's, I know he's probably watching me. He's like, what in the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> I said before, I'm, it's real, I'm really lucky here with the Ohio River. West Virginia is behind me and Ohio is right on the other side. And I can be here in 15 minutes makes it nice too coming from straight from work I'm off until Tuesday Can at least see a little bit of the West Virginia side let me get past this barge before I try to relight again it didn't appear to be nothing special that little bit of dark fart, I wish it would have had more in it. A little breezy today. That's one thing. Smoking my pipe in my shop, I like to smell the retro hail and you know the smoke lingering around the room it gives you a better feel for the taste that way. Out here in the wind like that, it's hard to do. But that storm yesterday just come out of the middle of nowhere fast. I mean the, the clouds were starting to get dark, but it was like holy shit. <laughs> Everybody was racing back to the marina at once, of course. I tried to, I was the first one back and I loaded the uh, boat up really fast. Hail in my eyes, trying to see. I nailed it on the first attempt. I got the hell out. But it didn't last. But we were already out for four or five hours anyway. We was ready to come in. He's right beside me now, so in a minute or two, he'll be past me. Actually, let me do a turn around here and let you see him. This is what you gotta watch all the time being out here on the river. But they go so slow and, you know, they're not an issue. Actually, they're fun. With the, when the grandkids are with us because they put up the waves behind them and we jump the waves in the boat and it rocks and jumps out of the water a little bit. I'm sure you should be able to see them behind me there. I can't tell if you can see them or not. They're always up and down here. Past me now. I don't want to 
trying to keep this video too long. Let the wind hopefully die down here for a minute. I'll try and relight it and uh, give you at least my first thoughts of it. Sometimes when I'm out here on the water like that and it's windy, I use my torch lighter. Now, a lot of you probably cringe at that idea, but you just got to be careful and not burn the top of your pipe. But in a pinch, it works. I'm about 20 foot of water right here. I don't know if you can see him or not, but there he is back here behind me. I'm starting to get the waves from him now, Rock. But uh, so far, I'd have to say no on this blend. Like I said, I'll give my final thoughts on this one later at the shop. A little harsh. Sure, I ain't getting too close to the, the side here. Wish they'd have put more dark fired in it. Oh, one funny thing, my wife's like. Can't we loop around and go get your pole? And won't, won't it be floating? Is it light enough to be floating? I'm like, no, hon. As soon as that sucker hit the water, it was gone. Let me see if I can turn it around here. Yeah, it won't let me. Anyway, I had it sitting right there on the lounge, and I thought it might have went over the back and laid back there on the deck, but no luck. Anyway, I'm probably making everybody dizzy. If I get any nice ones today again, I'll uh, add to this video later. So this is just a quick update on Cornell and Deal's bridge mixture. I'm back, as you can see. Uh, I got back just in time because severe storms are supposed to be rolling through within the next hour or so. caught one another small mouth normal size it was about 12 14 inches I uh, didn't it wasn't worth recording had a lot of bites though I didn't get out till late I wanted to get out earlier but it just didn't happen I on the weekends I stay up late I was up till after two o'clock last night like I said I wish it had more dark fired in it uh, it's rough behind the edges but it is dry now as well. I let it sit out in the sun on a boat and it crisped it up fast. A little sweet. Uh, on the retro hail, you get a little bit of, I don't know how to describe it. It's like barnyard campfire harshness. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's for me. Uh, it's only my second bowl. I think I see ashes on my face from touching my pipe and wiping out on the water. But I uh, had another fun day. I got out. Uh, this is the third time I've been out now. But last year at this time, I was probably out five or six times. Definitely nothing to write home about. If you've had this one, leave your thoughts below. Hope everybody has a great weekend. What's left of it? Talk to you boys and girls later.